you psychiatrist Does he beat around the bush? What's he prescribing you? Legs are pro, Xanax, it barely lets you function But you can at least manage a dose to dull the panic but now you never smile The kids can't get you to play So they feel like they're on trial What's up everybody? I'm Skulls And today we're gonna be listening to Piggy by Nine Inch Nails Like I said in the previous video I have heard songs on this album I do remember a little bit of this song I don't remember the relevance of the lyrics And the progression of the song But I do remember the beginning I'm probably gonna lose a lot of viewers Just by admitting that but uh, this is gonna be a lyrical deep dive. See if I can make heads or tails of it. But I'm excited. I got the lyrics pulled up next to me. Let's just dive in. But first, if you're new here, consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people. And I appreciate it a lot. Now let's check this out. Yo, the production, the sounds and everything, the, all the different weird noises in the left and right of the ear, and then even like the organ sound coming in there, it's all so weird and interesting and colorful. Of course, I'm going to be sort of comparing this to Undertow a little bit by Tool, but like in terms of production, this is so much more vibrant and colorful than Undertow. Undertow had that very dark style to it. And I even say it on my Undertow reactions, I feel like the production was very minimal. It was more like just letting a bunch of musicians who are just excellent at their craft go at it. And then they just mix the band pretty conventionally and just let them do the songs. And that's fine. But I'm just saying from a production standpoint, uh, this shines compared to Undertow. Undertow, so far, is shining in different ways, and that's fine. Like I say, uh, there's different ways to tackle themes and different ways to pursue them. I'm not knocking either one. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, if they convey the feeling and the themes well, that's what matters. But yeah, the lyrics, hey pig, yeah you. Hey pig, piggy pig, pig pig. All of my fears came true. Black and blue and broken bones. You left me here. I'm all alone. My little piggy needed something new. And then the chorus. Nothing can stop me now because I don't care anymore. In terms of uh, what the pig is, I don't have a clue yet. <laughs> uh, honestly, at this point, I feel like the lyrics haven't really gotten to a place where it's revealing what it's about exactly yet. So I'm just going to let it play out. I'm not going to speculate too much on those. Stand. 
Oh man. <laughs> See, I'm reading these lyrics and I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking that perhaps this is being in an abusive relationship. Black and blue and broken bones, you left me here, I'm all alone. Sounds like someone abused them and then left. And then the chorus almost makes me think that this has spread to him, like this abusive behavior. It's like, oh, I'll go out and I'll treat other people very poorly because that's what was done to me. Uh, nothing can stop me now. I just don't care anymore. Very common response to being in a bad relationship. I've been in bad relationships. And uh, especially after my first bad relationship, that was kind of the knee-jerk reaction. Thank God I grew out of that really quick because that was a really gross mindset to be in. But I think we all hit that at some point and uh, some people stay in it longer than others. But but yeah, then the second verse kind of reaffirms what I'm saying, where uh, nothing's turning out the way I plan. There's a lot of things I hoped you could help me understand. So now it seems like he's seeking advice from the pig, which means he's aspiring to it. And this could also be kind of a correlation. I mean, he was talking about, I am the lover in your bed and Mr. Self-Destruct. And he's hinting at this inclination to lean into abusive situations. I mean, when you think of a pig, I mean, you think of something that rolls around in its own shit. So I'm seeing a little bit of carryover. But that was a really weird song, but it was really likable. The album does have a very, very like high pitched, strong element to it. It's very tinny, industrial, all that. But I think the different samples in this song and the bass line is uh, the highlight. And also Trent just has a great way of delivering his lyrics. There's something very like tattered about his voice and the way he delivers. I really like him as a vocalist. So far, this album's really interesting. I'm sure there's stuff I'm missing, especially with this song. But yeah, guys, like I always say at the end, if you're new here, consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people. I appreciate it a lot. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a good day, good night, and as always, I look forward to the next one. Peace.